Hi, I'm Peter Haddock, and I'm here at Baumer in Germany. And Joel Honeyman, you have joined me, Vice President of Global Innovation for Bobcat, yes. from America. So yes. we're really crossing boundaries yes. here, and what we're crossing boundaries about is the machine behind us, right. first in the world, all electric as well. Tell me, what is this machine? Why is it the standout product here at Bauma? This is the world's first all-electric compact track loader, the Bobcat T7X. It is a totally different piece of work machinery, and it is going to change landscapes and job sites around the world. And why it's going to do that, folks, is the words are in two words. You said there, all electric. Now, we talk about electric. I talk about electric. I love electric, Joel. It's really good. But the all electric means something more from Bobcat, doesn't it? Explain why. That's right, because the, not only did we remove the engine and replace it with a battery, but all the hydraulics, the hydraulic cylinders and hoses, they've been removed also, and we've replaced them with electric actuators. So there's essentially no fluid on this machine. No hydraulics, no diesel fuel, no engine. It is a completely different machine than anything else that's out there. So we're talking about battery-powered electric motor, nothing to change, no oil changes, no hydraulic hose just to break, no nothing. Why is that so important to the end user of this product? Because it opens up so many more possibilities for us to create a completely different experience for our customers. And that's what we've done here. So it's low maintenance, as you just said, or zero maintenance. Yeah. It's low noise. And it's also a power platform. We can do things with software in here that you can't do with a traditional hydraulic machine. When you're talking about how you can change things with software, I'm guessing we're talking about how you can really optimize this piece of equipment for different applications and job sites. Is that right? Yeah, that is correct. That yeah. is correct. So we have actually an eco mode. Yep. If someone's just moving around on the site and they want to preserve energy and they want to just keep it at a, at a lower pace, they can do that. Or they can go to the extreme in a beast mode where they get full power to the drive. So we can put full electrical power to the drive and we can actually give this machine way more horsepower to the drive compared to any other diesel hydraulic machine. And that's all through software and our ability to do that so it allows a customized experience for the operator to do what they need to do on the job site. That means that hirers can really take advantage of this machine and, and other people that have you know, various different job tasks, isn't it? Yes, yes, they can. They can, they can take advantage of those different nuances, the different software features that we have in here to be able to do their job differently and get it done more efficiently. That's all people want to get. So this machine here, it operates and drives just like one of our normal loaders does today, except when an operator steps in it, the first thing they notice and they tell us is instantaneous power. So I was talking to some of your operator team earlier and they were saying, yeah, it takes a little bit of getting used to that. But when they got used to that, they said it completely transforms their day, doesn't it? Yes, it is. Because what we say is you have full power at zero RPM, essentially, wow. with this machine. Whereas a diesel hydraulic machine, you have to idle up the machine. Yep. You've got to power up the hydraulics in order to get optimal power and performance. Every operator that comes out of that machine tells us it has more power than their traditional machine just from the fact they have instantaneous power at any point in time. Beast mode! I love <laughs> beast right. mode! It's like, we come on! Too. You know, we you're going to go, ah! Oh, we're That's gonna right. go for this. We're gonna right. get through the job site, get through the task quicker, get through all of that sort That's of right. stuff. And you're talking a language there of an operator. Normally, these are hydraulic cylinders. These are actually electric actuators on this machine. And so there's no fluid in here. This is actually an electric motor. And uh, you've actually teamed up with Moog. Uh, yes. uh, you know, yes. a world-renowned manufacturer yes, of these products as yes. well. And that's important to you that the components in this machine yes. are, you know, to a very high standard, yes. isn't it? Yes, and Moog is in the aircraft business. They, they do all kinds of different types of technologies that really enabled us to apply those into this platform. And they've been a very good partner of ours to be able to work with to bring these technologies forward. So we're looking at the cab folks and we see some great visibility there, but I'm interested in where the real magic happens. Come on folks, let's go and see where the real magic happens behind this machine. So folks, I've got the key that matters that unopens the secret about what's happening in this Bobcat machine. Whoa, let's have a look, right? So there we go. The reveal, the reveal. One, 
you can see this machine has been working folks and this is what it's all about in the That's demo right. area isn't it here right. so come and come around here at them with me and basically let's talk about this particular right. element here and then let's talk about the wonders hydraulics inside the machine well of course we need operator comfort so this is the air conditioning unit it yep. also has heat so yep. you got to have that for the operator yeah but the real brains of everything is our 60 and a half kilowatt hour battery yeah back in back in here and so the battery is the power source for everything that takes place on this machine. It works up through these different control modules up in here. Yeah, yeah. And that is the brains and the drive behind this machine. So tell us a little bit about the question that everybody, including myself, always has to ask. Mm -hmm. What's the capacity? What can this machine do? And how long does it take to charge it up? Okay. So if you're running the machine continuously, you can run for about four hours right. with the machine. Yep. Now, here's yep. the proviso. Okay. okay, go on. So, when you are operating an electric machine, it only consumes power when you're stroking the joysticks. Yep. As soon as you let off of those joysticks, it is not consuming power. We know from the operation data, yep. one third of all machines in the world are at idle. And at any yeah. one time. Yeah, and that is a big issue for me when we're looking about burning fuel. Fuel costs have gone up. Yeah. Every drop needs to have more value. And when I'm saying fuel here, we're talking alternative fuels, but it's still a fuel. We still have to put it in the machine. So if we're not idling, we're not using that as a resource. So therefore, we're far more sustainable on site. And also, folks, you're talking about four hours stop you're doing different tasks right. so it's a full shift really it, it is yeah. it is it's an eight to ten hour work day yeah what you get out of the machine yeah so people need to realize operators need to realize that and when they experience the machine they tell us that they're like oh i didn't run the battery down in four yeah. hours because they're not working it continuously 24, yeah. 24 7 in that way of course, folks, the biggest thing about anything like this is having the infrastructure there when you are looking to charge a machine. And so when we're looking to charge this battery, we can do this in shift times, break times. So let's go and have a look at where we do this. And uh, it's around the side, isn't around it? Around the side, yeah, yes cool. it is. We've got the charge point there, right there. It's a Type 2 charger, a uh, common automotive charger is what we use, or a common plug for automotive is the charge type in here. So oh, hold on a minute. So I can say that I've got my electric vehicle, I'm an electric vehicle user, folks, and I can charge up using that standard. Yes, yes you can. My Bobcat. Yes, you so can. So we're going to yes. see in America where this is already being used, parking up in the bays next That's to uh, the chargers, yes. aren't we? Yes, it very much could be. Yes. Yeah. And it takes 10 hours yeah. for a charge overnight. If the battery's completely drained, yeah. it'll charge back up in 10 hours. So overnight. Yeah. But you've also got the fantastic thing of just trickle charging this in at brakes and things like that, yes, haven't they you? Could. So Yeah, they very much could on the brakes. Yes. So tell me a little bit about the, the thing that matters here, because we're talking about a tracked machine, yes. aren't we? So the design of this machine, tell me a little bit about more how you could pack it all electric in a tracked machine and why you did that. Yeah, and these, uh, what's powering this is there's direct drive, electric drives on either side of this yep. that are coming back through to the track undercarriage. This is a standard undercarriage that we would have on a diesel hydraulic machine, okay. but we've just replaced the hydraulic drive motors with electric drive motors. And so it just, again, allowed us to get rid of another failure point, get rid of the oil, get rid of the fluids, and introduce, again, another way for us to control the machine and optimize that machine by knowing the position of these motors at all times and the current. That allows us, to, again, to do different things like beast mode Whoa. from right here, <laughs> right, right here, right Peter. Here. That's it. So we're right here and we can beast mode this. We know exactly what's going on. All that data has already been collected. There's loads of field trials going on. So these machines are arriving on site now yes. in the States particularly. Yes. And so it really is an all electric moment for me here at Bauma with Bobcat. And I've got to say beast mode, the whole brand with Bobcat is cool, isn't it? Yes, and it's it is. like really great to see you guys pushing the boundaries of all electric and adding the beast. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.